Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 26 of Let's Play Granada in EU4. Welcome to a period of great peace. As the history books show, Granada took over most of Africa and became a major world power by the year 1560, defeating the then reigning Castilian champion. Because they're stupid. Uh, let's see, do we want to lose money and gain prestige and legitimacy? Yes, please! <laughs> Okay, so we've done that. That's fine. We have some revolt risk to work on. It's kind of serious. We'll just spend some points on it. We don't like no revolts. We're not going to have any of that nonsense around here. I do want a military guy, I think. Let's take the morale of armies guy. Yeah, he's really expensive, actually. I don't want to go that expensive yet. But we do want advisors. And westernization is going to probably happen, I think, in this video. In addition to that, we are probably going to start... Oh, you know what? Why did I just do that? We can we can start annexing them right now. God damn it. Eleven noble regiments. Okay, first things first. Let's raise maintenance so I don't forget. We lose 100 military power again. And our merchants are going to resist westernization as well. That's kind of far away and annoying. Send these guys. Fortunately, our fleets passing through is going to increase our income, now that we actually have fleets available to patrol our, our coasts. And our income is going to go up tremendously here in just a few more months. A couple more years, actually, as soon as Songhai finishes. And let's annex you. That doesn't bother me at all. All right, so these are just the, uh, just all these heavies. Man, I have a lot of heavy ships. We're not getting rid of them. Let's take the lights and let's go ahead and uh, protect trade in the capital node, even though there's really no reason for it. We have no competition except for our vassal, Songhai. But we might as well. It's better than having them do nothing. And then other than that, I'm just going to take the these guys over here too. I want to get them involved. I'll leave the transports at home because I like to know where they are. Alright, so we're going to detach the heavies. Split them in half. Have you guys patrol one side up to here. That's 12, and then you guys patrol from New Granada down to here. Colonist isn't here yet? Two more days, wow. What timing. Okay, so income should rise quite a bit. I just feel like I have way too much cavalry. No, part of the problem is there's no cavalry in that army. Here, go over there. My merchants both got expelled, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to trick me into building stuff, are ya? No thanks.
Look at that, we can actually colonize up here. I just want to keep colonizing now. We've got five years of peace with Castile, no matter what. And in those five years, I highly doubt they're going to fix anything. Like, build up a good fleet. They're, let's check their opinions of their neighbors now. They're still really positive. And they've got enemy of enemy bonuses, the separate peace penalty. It looks like it didn't give them like a broke alliance penalty, but they can't be allies, so... They've rivaled me. They've rivaled France. I'm just hoping that either Portugal or Castile, one of them rivals the other. And that's fine. It'd be nice if we could get rid of our war exhaustion a little bit quicker. Maybe get our diplomatic rep reputation up. It seems like he, every time I just, I always want the diplomatic reputation guy. He's the only one that matters. Ooh, stability cost modifier guy. Yeah. I'll spend 408 gold on you. <laughs> it's 30 gold a month, but... Maybe that's a bad idea. The base cost... Um, he wouldn't really reduce it that much, really. No, we can't afford to be that reckless. What I'm learning about this game is patience. Balance. Don't try to do everything all at once. Can't work. Oh wow, they actually took that holding. It's rather annoying. Crossing penalty, no leader. And, oh my gosh, not having a leader, bad idea. We're losing. I just lost a ton of men for that. Oh gosh, Granada gets decre increased decentralization again. Looks like we might need a few more troops down there, possibly. Why are you going down there? Oh, jeez. Sometimes this game confuses me. You know where we should run? Let's go to the Cape of Good Hope. <laughs> That's the place to be. We want to go to the beaches there. They're pretty. I hear they're pretty this time of year. How is it that I have two available colonists and I have two colonies? What the hell? Do I have two colonies? I don't. Why did my colonies disappear? Oh, I know why. Oops. <laughs> Yikes. That was my fault. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend I didn't do that. It was a little embarrassing. It's like negative 200 growth per year. I was thinking that some event, like westernization event, expelled them or something. Hey, cool, we've converted the heretics of Arguin. It's actually not that bad to convert back, but... This will take 21 months, not bad. A little bit of revolt risk up here. I would like to do harsh treatment, but of course we have no points. Of course. Oh, cool. They can. <laughs> nice. They actually crossed against me. That's actually really, really uh, nice and ideal. Integrating Songhai. Whoa, slow down, slow down. When a smaller country gives up its independence to join a greater realm. There's a lot of adapting. We lose legitimacy, no surprise there. Um, Songhai has accepted our irresistible proposal. We have incorporated them. We gained admin power. Sweet. Look at that. We can even take another point of stability. Nice. And now what? Defeat rebels. Gain prestige. Form an alliance with Morocco. Gain diplo power. Spread our culture. Gain diplo power. I don't really want any of those. Alright, so my income should be up. Probably. Soon. Timbuktu is now ours. It's all Mali culture, right? No, we've got this one that's Tareg. For some reason. 
But yeah, Mali culture, we're happy with that. Got an important center of trade. Look at that income, Timbuktu, 22.9. It's just phenomenal. And we've already started integrating this guy, too. It'll probably go a lot quicker this time. Hmm? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We lost the effects trading in ivory. Really. That's unfortunate. I'll slow that down a bit. Um, somehow losing money again. Probably because, what, Songhai had a fairly large army that they decided to camp out in the jungle somewhere or something. There we go. Our bonus is back. Uh, my Sultan! Our old monarch died. I didn't even turn him into a guy! Damn it! This game does not want me to westernize. I just spent 350 points, and then my oh, and monarch dies. Your monarch, he's dead. Dumb game. We clearly can't afford to do this. That's just crazy. Oh, and we also don't need harbor fees with Morocco anymore. I want to see some serious growth out of Granada. Book burning! Sounds good! You can invite me! What does that one say? Something about inviting me? Somebody forgot to invite me! Overextension. Are you kidding me? We have, like, no overextension. Nobles continue to resist! Okay, looks like we've got to bump up that maintenance again. Spread our culture to the Congo. Probably not going to happen. And it's a pretty small army. I think we're going to be fine. But let's wait till December. Nice! Excellent year for manpower. Makes me happy. Oh, actually, you know what? Our character dying maybe was a good thing, because look at this, we've gained a ton of legitimacy. And that's going to increase the integration by a lot. More than doubled it. We were going to get this done pretty quickly, but now it looks like it won't be until next video. Still 40 more months, so a little bit shy of four years. Just cord Trarza. Sure. Nice. Even more manpower. Why on earth would we want to form an alliance with Morocco? I just don't understand it. On the other hand, culture conversion probably makes sense. Komasi. Hundred twenty five points to do that one. Congo, I think, is pretty expensive too. Yikes. Yeah, no thanks. But we are, even after westernizing, I'm still behind on tech, you know? We're 5, 7, 11. Castile is 12, 12, 13. So we're not going to want to spend anything except for military, like, like technology for a while. I think. And we're never probably going to catch up. At least they're not too far ahead anymore. 
Or they're not going to continue to get further and further ahead, I guess would be a better way to put it. More ivory! Makes me happy. I'm pretty much just waiting for westernization here. And colonies to grow, I guess. This one's actually growing really quick. Let's go speed five. Hmm. That's fun. Speed five brings out all the worst events. Next up, I think we need to continue to go around here and attack Swahili. Can we attack you? Offer vassalization. You don't, you don't think I'm big enough? Fine. We'll expand and then attack you. That will be the plan. Diplomatic reputation guy! Yeah! He's expensive as hell. Holy crap. 30 gold a month. I don't even make that much money. But he would allow me to annex quickly. Ah, oh, we can't afford that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I will see you in the next video, everyone. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, for, thanks. we'll see you soon.